In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this USB microphone to turn your trash audio like this into crispy audio like this, all while using this, a Chromebook. Check it out. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is get some kind of audio recording software or app installed on your Chromebook. In this case, I'm using Voice Recorder. Uh, it's an app I downloaded from the Play Store. That's just going to get my main file for audio. So if you're doing something like a podcast, uh, doing a voiceover, or just a video in general, you can use this app to be your main audio source. Or This is a free app, so it is ad-supported. There is a paid version. I'm using the ad-supported one because I don't want to pay for it. Anyway, so once you get your audio recorded, you're going to hit this, the stop button. And it'll give you the option to rename your file. So rename it, save it, and that will be our, our source file. In this case, I'm using the test file. Secondly, you want to download an app called Crossover. Crossover is an app that kind of allows you to run Windows applications on your Android device, in this case, the Chromebook. And what we're going to do is download Crossover, and then we're going to go to the Chrome browser, and we're going to search for audacity and audacity is a popular audio editor on windows and mac but we're going to use it on our chromebook via crossover okay so whenever you go to audacity's website you're going to see a download in the bottom left you want to click that but be sure you download the windows installer so once you have that .exe file downloaded open up crossover and search for audacity now it may not pull up for you but as you search and you're typing in, you'll see a pop-up with a hyperlink. You want to click on that, and then it'll pull up your list of downloads. And you'll see what you downloaded earlier, your audacity.exe file. Click that. Let it run through its standard install process. I didn't change any special settings or anything like that. It's all by default. Let it go through the setup process and open Audacity via crossover. Now to do that all you gotta do is on your Chromebook pull up crossover and you will see installed apps and Audacity will be listed there. Double click and click launch. Give it a second to load up. Okay, and now we are running Audacity on our Chromebook. So, all you have to do to get your audio sounding excellent is you want to import your audio file that you recorded using the uh, voice recorder app. So, select audio, and it's this uh, file system's a little a little weird, but if you search through your folders you should be able to find your original clip okay so you can see here that I'm having trouble finding it and I so by default it's looking for the downloads folder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the files folder on the Chromebook and I'm going to take my audio and you can see here it has the test 2 that I made with the voice recorder app and I'm going to double click and I'm going to copy and I'm going to copy it over to the downloads folder close that out and in Audacity, I'm going to click on Storage Emulated Download, and now you can see our test MP3 is there. So I'm going to open it. Okay, so now you get your timeline here, and then you can see where our, your sound waves. You can expand this and get a better view. Now, the important thing to remember here 
is you want to do noise canceling and that's how you're going to get that nice audio so all you have to do is be sure you leave some uh, dead space in your recording this will be what you're going to use to grab your noise reduction sample from and what I mean by that is you can see how I have very minimal sound waves here this is a moment where it's quiet now I'm just going to click and select a section of this and you're going to go up to the top and hit effect and hit noise reduction and then you want to select get noise profile and what this is going to do is pull data from this selection and that's going to allow you to tell the program to uh, to cancel out these wavelengths now it has the noise profile so now I'm going to select the audio and you're going to hear a drastic difference in how it sounds so you're going to hit effect noise reduction and then just hit OK now it's going to apply that to the area you selected now I'm going to let you hear hopefully the difference in this audio so I'll start back here where you can hear the dead space testing 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 now it may not have picked it up on camera but it is very clear the difference between the noise reduced sample versus not having it reduced and you can hear even in this video the difference so as I speak I'll switch back and forth between uh, the mic on the camera versus the B mic and versus no audio reduction at all or noise reduction at all so you can hear the difference on how important it is to use some sort of noise reduction software this is a method that I chose to use uh, I couldn't really find a great app from the app store to do this with and I just wanted to be sure that I could have great audio for my videos and this was the, the most effective method that I could find so if you like what you saw give me a like subscribe to the channel I'll be doing more more and more videos like this Chromebook tips follow me on Twitter and until the next one See ya.